Hey everyone, wanted to do a small update. Not that much this uh, this video, but I just wanted to show you. So I added to the terrain shader, but it's supposed to be the water that's doing it. But yeah, I added caustics, underwater caustics. So yeah, here is the repeating texture. Kind of, I did like just Google search some sine wave stuff for. Um, for a pixel shader, <clears throat> found this thing and it's kind of repetitive. And I found an image online of water caustics. I'll, I'm planning to make my own by hand. Um, I actually wanted to do everything by hand, but these are all just stuff I found on Google. Um, maybe even, even the normal maps I want to do by hand. I think I can do it all by hand. Um, just just a lot of fun doing it that way. But <clears throat> but yeah, here's caustics and it's on the terrain shader itself. It's an external ex external texture that's not in the, t the terrain itself, so uh, I can pin I can paint an area where I want it to be. So it's there, but you know, not here. Wait, it is there. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, it's not here. I guess so I can put like lakes, multiple lakes in the same thing, and each will have their own caustics. And yeah. So I did that, plus just for fun I wanted to do some, I wanted to try a game prototype, not on a prototype, but I just wanted to do something with um, like a spider, like a humanoid spider, maybe just like laying spider traps, and one of the first things I wanted to do was get an object, this little box guy to crawl on geometry, and uh, so far it works. Uh, but it doesn't work in certain edge cases, uh, literally. But here's the here's some convex, here's some convex geometry. It's it's working really well on. I can get him going around, up and down. And I defaulted to when you, if you ever get to a zone where it's, oh, never mind. Yeah, it's not <clears throat> not too robust. And I don't know why, I think I just had a lot of wanderlust of, a, of what type of game I want to make, so... But yeah, oh, uh, sorry. It's the wrong one. I'll show you how it is. Let me get this guy to go to the column. Uh, geometry is funky. So yeah, I wanted this this spider box thingamajig was going to be the big prototype. And if you see him, you can see that he's able to latch on to geometry. Well, for the most part, until I mess it up. But yeah, you can go up and down, you can travel to all the different surfaces. You kind of adjust to the surface, which is pretty nice. Yeah. There are some edge cases where it fails. See if the the turn is 90 degrees it kind of breaks but yeah I don't know I don't know if I'll take this I have problems with um, making a prototype initially if it doesn't work quickly when I make the initial prototype I lose interest in it maybe I should do something else but this is where I'm at right now just doing something I don't know playing around and yeah that's everything cool thanks for watching